Every child in school learns to call our world the water planet. But if the salt water that covers three quarters of the Earth's surface is our planet's great wealth, fresh water is its currency. Today, Spain is the country over the world with more dams per inhabitant and per square kilometer. The problem is not to build more big dams, but to improve the environment, to improve the health of the ecosystem, because it's the health of the society also. Pedro Arrojo Agudo is a physicist and an economics professor at the University of Zaragoza in his native Spain. In September 2000, Spain's prime minister announced a new national hydrological plan. It would build 120 new dams and divert billions of gallons of river water to dry areas in the south. We have an archaic way of thinking about water. A lifelong environmentalist, Pedro Arrojo, the economist, looked at the plan's numbers. They didn't add up. It's a crazy project that is going to cost about 25 billions of euros. The people of Spain reacted to the hydrological plan with outrage and disbelief. Just a month after the plan was unveiled, 400,000 people marched in Zaragoza, a city with a population of 650,000. Pedro Arrojo was there. It's public money, easy money for private interest, big private interest. Where water is scarce, it is more profitable. Water sells for 100 times more along the arid southern coast than it does at its source here in the Pyrenees. The National Hydrological Plan would bring water to resorts and farms in the south by building more dams in the north. If the dam is done at this point where I am, the, the water would be 20 meters over my head. Aquí tenemos nuestra historia, nuestra vida, nuestras raíces, todo, nuestra cultura, todo. Aquí viven nuestros hijos y aquí queremos que sigan viviendo. Flooded villages in northern Spain are only half the story. In the Ebro Basin, the rain in Spain falls mainly in the Pyrenees. This is El Grado, the biggest dam after the Pyrenees. This water will travel now 300 kilometers. And here at the delta, the Ebro River arrives to the Mediterranean Sea. East, near Barcelona, the river Ebro empties into the Mediterranean. Here, less water means less fish, less wildlife, fewer jobs. The Ebro Delta is one of the three last reserves in wetlands in the Mediterranean coast in Europe. Damming has caused the Ebro Delta to sink. Scientists warn the delta could disappear entirely in the next 10 years. The reduced flow of fresh water has also increased the water salinity, killing off entire species. We can uh, increase our eco-efficiency through a new way of managing water, making peace with nature. With the same money that costs a big dam like this one, you can modernize thousands of hectares and save as much water as you keep with this system. In an era when public apathy and low voter turnout are commonplace, what kind of person can convince two out of every three people in a major city to demonstrate against a piece of water legislation? What kind of person will sue his own government, endure personal attacks, and police harassment to protect a lonely stretch of wild river? The kind who feels passionately about the water, his people, and the land he loves. We need to see at the nature now as just an input, economic input for tomorrow. But we have to see at the rivers, to see at the nature as our own house, our own home. For outstanding environmental achievement in Europe, the 2003 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Pedro Arrojo Agudo of Zaragoza, Spain.